Here I have a pink board um, which I've covered about 24 hours previously using pink fondant and I'm going to show you a different luster technique. Traditionally um, I would use the luster spray um, but obviously the luster spray can run quite expensive, about £8 a can um, and not everybody has the facility to use a luster spray. So I'm going to show you a technique using the pearl white rainbow dust silk um, which also creates a gorgeous luster effect, quite a deep luster effect. All you're going to need is a paint palette, your board and the pearl luster and a clean paintbrush, soft tip paintbrush. I've tapped into my palette some of the uh, pearl white luster silk and I'm adding in some rejuvenator. You can use clear alcohol, you don't have to use rejuvenator to form a thin paint. We want this paint to be even, so we don't want it to have lumps or grains in it, we don't want thicker points and thinner points, we want it to be nice and smooth and evenly dispersed so as there's no granules in it. It will dry out as you cover the board, so you'll need to reconstitute. We don't want this to be thick. We want it to move easily over the board. So this is the point we should be at. So as the paint is even and has a slight stipple Once we're there, we're going to bring the brush over to the board and just gently brush back and forwards. If you know you're going to have a cake on here which is eight or less inches or more inches, you don't need to paint the entire board. We can just go around the edges As it starts to dry out, just add in more rejuvenator. I want this board to have almost a old age sort of rustic effect around the edges so as it looks like it's been rubbed with this luster. You can, of course, paint the whole board if you feel that it's easier to paint the whole board. Um, but in terms of keeping costs down, you should only really need to paint the edges of the board that you can actually see from beyond the cake. I did put a light impression of a silk mat into this, of a lace mat into this, just to um, add a slight texture to it. I didn't want anything too heavy, um, just enough to give me the suggestion of a pattern on the board. Once I've got the main edges of the board done, the area I feel that I'm going to see most, I'm going to add more rejuvenator, so I've got a very weak paint here. And I'm just blending this so as it comes in to a lighter effect. This lighter paint will also remove any brush marks that you might have had when you're applying the darker coat. I want it to have quite an even look. The softer your brush tip, the better effect that you'll get with this. Um, I 
So I know that my cake is now going to cover this hole in the centre. Um, if I put a 9 inch or an 8 inch cake on here, this is an 11 inch board. So I only want to come in enough to cover the edges of it. Once this dries, we can come over with a clean dusting brush and just fill in any small gaps that you might have from the brush. So I'm going to leave this to dry for a little while now before I come back over it with a clean dry brush to add some final shimmer and blend this in on the edges as well. Once the board has dried out um, with the wet luster, um, we can come back now and we can just use a, a dry dusting brush just to blend in the edges. Um, this is a slightly stiffer brush, so the stiffer brush will not only help blend but it will take off of the um, luster if the luster isn't dry in certain places so avoid going too hard too quickly with it but just use this brush to fill in any gaps that you might have over dust any brush strokes and make sure that you've got an even coverage on the area of the board that you're going to see A stiffer brush definitely helps to remove any imperfections that you've got on here. Um, the, if you do this on a flat board that doesn't have any texture on it, um, the effect is a smoother, glossier finish. This is more of a rustic, aged finish, um, the way that I've just done this now. I'm knocking off any excess that I might have had. and rubbing out any existing brush lines. To complete. And that completes the luster effect on the board. This is the rustic luster effect um, without needing to use luster spray.